All right, so we have a hot air balloon here, and it was traveling at three meters per second, and there was a temperature intensity of 10%. So like a fairly nice day and a little bit of a uh, bit of a breeze, like a gusty situation. And I have the streamlines plotted here, and I have a video of them going around. And it's pretty cool. Like you can see in this angle how there's this, this real roll up of the wake in two different directions, one going that way, and then this other one coming from the bottom and rolling up into this little focus here. And as you'd expect, a lot of the flow separates at about just after halfway point on the balloon. And then underneath, there's not much uh, flow attachment of the free stream flow at the back. And one thing that I was really interested in was what the flow inside the balloon was doing. So with this picture here, I've taken away from the balloon and you can just see the streamlines inside and they're all swirling around and you can rotate it. And some do escape, but most of them do stay inside the balloon. And this is of a glyph. So this is the Y plane going through the balloon and the flow is going from left to right. And these arrows show the direction of the flow. So as we progress along, you can see all these arrows starting to swirl up and change shape and direction, particularly in the wake here. So this is a really indicative uh, picture here where you have all these additional streamline, all these additional flow, these arrows coming down behind in this wake. And there seems to be like this point where all the arrows just come out to the, and keep following uh, the free stream direction downstream. There's a bit of a vortex happening there, which we saw in the streamlines in the first video. And this is the, um, the Y plane again, but with the U mag, so the X velocity, oh, sorry, the uh, overall velocity. And this gives you a good idea of the wake. So it is pretty wakey, and there are like these two regions where the flow is significantly slower than everywhere else. That's quite interesting. And obviously you get quite a bit of flow acceleration over the balloon. So there's probably some sort of lift thing, which there is on the balloon. And I was really interested to see what was going on between the outside of the balloon and the inside of the balloon. So this is a, um, slice effectively through the middle of the balloon with the U mag velocity. And you see like there's not much, um, not much of a velocity inside the balloon. And then outside you have what's the rest of um, the flow as you'd expect as we saw before. And then I was curious about how much flow was going in and out of the balloon. So I plotted the UZ on that exact same plane. So this is the up and down velocity and so you can see that there's some sort of exchange where some flow comes out some flow goes in and as you'd expect over the balloon like you get this stagnation point and then the flow either goes up or down over it and then at the back there's quite a bit of interesting flow so the some flow does come down which is sort of is at the same point as the separation uh, and then you get flow going back up and yeah some funky physics going on here And then this is the vorticity magnitude. So I wanted to see if there was any vorticity coming off of that. And sure enough, there is just around the um, inside, like the entry part of the balloon and around the um, separation area, which is to be expected. So that's pretty cool. So our International Aerodynamics Conference is on. Make sure you attend. It's for everyone who loves aerodynamics. If you don't love aerodynamics, you can still come along, but you have to pretend like you love it. So see you there.